Special thanks to Patreon supporter Derek Frost Rusberg for making this video possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tour, we'll be going ahead and building the Bell V280 Valor. The Bell V280 Valor is a tilt rotor aircraft being developed by Bell and Lockheed Martin for the United States Army's Future Vertical Lift or FEL program. The aircraft was officially unveiled at the 2013 Army Aviation Association of America's annual professional forum and expedition in Fort Worth, Texas. The V280 made its first flight on December 18th, 2007 in Amarillo, Texas. The aircraft is still currently under development and still undergoing flight testing and is uh, very promising to maybe be a future um, aircraft in the U.S. Army's arsenal. Um, so yeah, really interesting aircraft. Um, from what I've been able to see kind of looking at this, this actually is a better kind of version compared to the Osprey. Um, it does have less capacity compared to that of the Osprey, but it does have uh, better performance capabilities and uh, it's a very interesting aircraft. Kind of uh, gives me some like Blackhawk vibes with a, to a tilt rotor type thing. It's kind of funky, kind of a funky aircraft, but kind of cool at the same time so uh should be a pretty fun build and a prototype vehicle and uh maybe a vehicle you've probably never even heard of but maybe see actually come into the military in the future who knows um but yeah really cool stuff uh, i think the aircraft came out pretty good all together um but yeah uh before we go and take a look at it i want to go to your special links to patreon support Derek frost westbrook for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do feel free to check my patreon page link is down in the video description where you can go and put a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing uh it really helps support the work i do and uh all that stuff so definitely feel free to check it out and you earn the cool benefit of a vehicle request depending on your tier uh every month you are a patron so um, yeah, pretty cool stuff, and uh, let's go ahead and kind of dive into it. So, obviously we have both the landed and in-flight versions for you guys. We'll take a look at the landed version first. This is a tilt rotor aircraft, so we do have both the configurations with the tilt rotor, or the with the rotors facing upwards and the rotors facing forward uh, to give you both configurations here for the aircraft. Um, so, beginning with the landed version, obviously we have the tilt rotors facing upwards. As the landed version, you can only have the tilt rotors forward, or upwards, and not facing forward due to the... Uh, blades um, and ground clearance uh, But yeah, so it's a pretty much all black aircraft in its current state It has the markings and stuff like that um, Going along with the prototype including the uh, project's logo the uh, name on the side of the aircraft and all that stuff There isn't any uh, specific military markings or anything like that as it is still just a uh, product or a test uh, experimental aircraft at this point uh, But yeah, it's got the front up here uh, the cockpit um, the kind of pylons to stick up to the sides here for the forward landing gear. We uh, then have the wings themselves with the rotors uh, on top here. One thing that is interesting about this aircraft is the uh, rotors themselves are the only ones that tilt. So if you look at the in-flight version here, you can see it tilts forward. You have the kind of engine and vents and all that stuff that stay horizontal and the same thing down here. So a lot less moving parts, which kind of makes it a little bit more uh, reliable compared to that of the uh, Osprey. Um, and as we work our way back to the back here, we have obviously the fuselage here. Uh, pretty good droop capacity from what I've been able to see. It looks like it's got a pretty good size um, uh, kind of cargo bay there. And then we have a very uh, interesting tail design here with two uh, vertical slanted uh, stabilizers. So kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool looking aircraft. That's the landed version and the in-flight version. Pretty much the same thing, except with this one has the tilt rotors facing forward. So uh, this one you can have the rotors upwards or facing downwards. Um, either one will work for this design here, but yeah, again, a really nice design here, and um, pretty cool aircraft. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into uh, the store for the aircraft you've probably never even heard of. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here. We'll be going ahead and start with layer one. Now, uh, before we go ahead and get started with this tutorial, I want to go ahead and mention a few things to get started with. First thing is, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I structure these tutorials, I like to do half on camera, half off. What this means is we'll be building the entire center line and right side of the aircraft, and then it'll be up to you guys to copy the right side over to the left side. This aircraft is completely symmetrical, so whatever we do on one side will be done to the other, and this will make a little bit more sense as we kind of progress for a little bit through the first few layers and you kind of get the hang of things. It's pretty simple, just helps cut down tutorial time for me. Uh, recording this and um, really there's no point in covering the same thing twice especially if it's symmetrical on both 
both sides. So that's the reason why we do it this way. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of dive into it. Now, one thing to also mention is if you are wanting to build the landed version, just know that for building this, we're going to be building the aircraft as if it's in flight and adding the landing gear on at the end. So to make sure that this is built correctly, you're going to want to make sure that you have a block of space between the ground level. So we have the ground floor here. And you can see a full block of space, and then we have our first layer, layer number one, starting at this section right here. Um, so very important to make sure you take into account uh, when you get started if you're building the linear, because obviously if it's one block too high or too low, it's not going to sit properly on the ground. Um, also know that if you are planning on building the, in the landed version, you can only have the rotors in the upward position and not the forward one. With that out of the way, I think that covers everything. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a gray concrete block. Coming off this block, we're going to place down a upside down polished black stone stair and a polished black stone top slab coming off the top of that stair. We then want to go ahead and go back to this gray concrete block and we're going to go ahead and count back from it. This right here is going to be a row of 18 gray concrete blocks back from this one so in total giving you a row of 19 gray concrete blocks going down the center line. We're going to go then place down two polished black stone tops or sorry three polished black stone top slabs on the rear here like so. With that done go ahead and go back up to the front we're going to place down a row of two of polished black stone top slabs to the side here, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 uh, of these uh, gray concrete blocks back, and then two polished black stone top slabs back after that. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a polished black stone top slab, cut off the side of this block here, and we then want to go and take our polished black stone stairs, place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, polished black stone upside down stairs back along the side there. We then want to go and go to our stairs here. So we have our first stair here. We're going to count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and our sixth stair back. We're going to place down a polished black stone top slab coming off of it, and then a dark oak with trap door coming off that polished black stone top slab. That right there is uh, going to basically do it for this layer. So as you can see, we have the center line down our center. We're going to take what we do on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and you'll have what you need done for layer number one. So that right there, again, is it for layer one. Let's go ahead and move into layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go and place down a gray concrete block on top of this polished blackstone top slab here in the front, and we're going to then count back one and two more additional. So you have a row three of gray concrete blocks, followed by two black stained glass full blocks after those um, gray concrete blocks. Go ahead and going back to the front, we're going to place down a polished blackstone slab coming off this concrete block here. Two end rods going forward, a uh, dark oak with fence gate on the front here, and we're going to then place down a dark oak with sign here on both sides of this fence gate like so. We then want to go ahead and go off this fence gate with a end rod like that, and that right there is going to basically make the front there. After that's done, we want to place down a polished blackstone stair coming to the side of this uh, gray concrete block. And we're going to go then place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this slab. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a uh, item frame. We're going to place the item frame on the side of this, or on the front of the stair here and a snowball like that. If you're on bedrock additions, you will not be able to place those item frames. If that's the case, then just disregard the item frames and just place down the wither skeleton skulls. After that, going back from the stair, we're going to place down two gray concrete blocks followed by two black stained glass blocks. To the side here, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall, a gray concrete block, polished black stone stair, and a second stair facing it like so. We're going to go and then take our gray concrete, go back one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then our smooth quartz, one, two, three, four, and five smooth quartz. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four gray concrete blocks back, followed by two polished black stone walls, and then a direct wall. On the inside here, we're going to place down one, two, three, four and five gray concrete blocks back and we also want to place down a wither skeleton skull on the side of this gray concrete block on the back here we want to go ahead and then go to the space uh, in the middle here come off this gray concrete block we're going to place down one more in the center there followed by a second gray concrete block back and then to the side of it we're going to place down a polished black stone wall like so come off that gray concrete block we're going to place down two more polished black stone top slabs and then two dark oakwood trap doors back like so and once we have that all done there we then want to go ahead and grab our gray concrete. We're going to go ahead and go back to this top slab that sticks off the side here near the front. We're going to place down a gray concrete block on top of it, one forward and one back from it. And then we're going to place down one and two, come off the center one with one and two polished black stone walls on the side here and one and two polished black stone walls. And with that all complete there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have here for this layer. Um, 
pretty simple stuff there, nothing too complicated, and here's what it should look like from up above with the layer complete. Anyways, the art there is going to wrap up for what we have for layer two, and with that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to our second grade concrete block here. We're going to place down a daylight detector on top of it and turn it to the night mode. From that, going back, we're going to place down a uh, polished blackstone slab, and then one, two, three, and four black stained glass full blocks. After that's done, go ahead and go into the back here. We're going to go, and go to these two polished black stone top slabs on the center line. We're going to place down two blocks on top of them, and then two blocks on top of those dark oak trap doors, and then one more block that sticks out toward the back there, like so. After our center line is complete, we're going to go back up to the front and we'll start working our way out to the sides. Come off this daylight detector, we're going to place down a narrow daylight detector to the side, turn it to night mode, followed by a polished black stone slab back, and then one, two, three, and four black stained glass blocks back, like so, from that slab. On the side here, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull, a black stained glass pane, and we then want to place down one and two black stained glass full blocks, followed by a polished black stone slab, one, two, three gray concrete blocks, black stained glass block, a gray concrete block, and then one, two, three black stained glass blocks as well. Uh, then going to the, uh, after the black stained glass blocks, we're going to place down a polished, or sorry, a gray concrete block. We then want to go ahead and grab stone buttons. We're going to place down one and two stone buttons here. One and two going down. And we also want to go ahead and place down a stone button on the side of this gray concrete block here. From this point, uh, we're going to then grab ourselves a item frame. A black concrete block. And we're going to go to the side here, uh, right here. We're going to go to this gray concrete block here. Place on a item frame, a black concrete block, and then if you're able to, if you're not on bedrock, you can go ahead and place a dark oak sign over the item frame. Now, if you're on bedrock, you cannot do this feature, so if that's the case, go ahead and disregard the sign and only place the item frame. We're going to go ahead and then place down a polished black stone slab on top of this gray concrete block here. And after that, we want to go and follow it up by placing down a dark oak wood trap door out to the side there like so. After that's done, go ahead and continue on back after this gray concrete block. We're going to place down two more. And we're going to then place down a black stained glass block, and then two more gray concrete blocks back like so. Going to this gray concrete block here, and place down an item frame. And we then want to go and place down a black concrete block in the item frame, and that dark oak sign like that over it. We're going to go then place down a diorite wall, followed by a, a polished black stone wall like so, and then another diorite wall like that. We're going to go then place down one and two gray concrete blocks, a smooth quartz block, and then one and two additional gray concrete blocks back from the smooth quartz block. We're going to go then place down a row of one, two, and three of these uh, polished bricks, uh, blackstone walls uh, back like that on the side there. And once you have that all complete, that is going to wrap up what we have here for layer number three. Here's what it should look like from up above. And um, yeah, with that, that is going to complete layer three. And uh, with that, let's move into layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to start off by placing down a black stained glass block on top of this second row of uh, black stained glass. So it's going to be on the second block back down the center here. And we're going to go and place down a stone button come off the side of the block facing toward the front. We then want to go and place down an additional black stained glass block back and then a third one, so you have a row three like that going down your center. Going ahead and going to the back here, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to our second to last great concrete block. Place a dark oak trap door on top of it. Then one, two, three. Uh, polished black stone slabs going forward. One and two gray concrete blocks going forward. And then a smooth quartz full block like that. And that's going to do it for your center line. Going ahead and moving out to the sides now, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three black stained glass blocks along that row of three in the center. And we then want to go and place down a black stained glass pane, followed by one and two black stained glass full blocks going back from the pane. We also want to place a stone button here on the side of this black stained glass block. Once we have that all done, uh, we're going to be going ahead and continue on by placing down a gray concrete block to the side here. We then want to go ahead and grab an item frame and a black bed and a dark oak sign. We're going to place down an item frame on the side here, a black bed rotated on the side like that, and a dark oak sign like that on the side of the block. After that, we're going to place down one and two gray concrete blocks back followed by a polished black stone top slab, a black stained glass block like that on the inside here, and a gray concrete block like that with a stone button here on the side. We then want to place down a narrow polished black stone top slab, gray concrete block, narrow polished black stone top slab, and then we're going to place down one, two, and three black stained glass blocks on the inside there. We then want to place down a narrow gray concrete block here, a 
Um, the second gray concrete block and the third one, I'm going to place down a narrow polished blackstone top slab and then a black stained glass block on the inside here and then a gray concrete block like that next to the slab. We then want to place down a brick stone or polished brick blackstone wall and then we're going to place down a row of one and two of diorite walls. On the inside here, coming off the, the uh, blackstone wall, we're going to place down a gray concrete block and we then want to go ahead and follow that up by placing down one, two, and three smooth quartz blocks going forward. We're going to then place down a gray concrete block here, a polished blackstone wall, and then a row of four of one, two, three, and four of polished blackstone stairs like so. With uh, that all done, uh, we then want to go ahead and uh, take some stone buttons, and we're going to place down stone buttons here on these gray concrete blocks. So these ones right here, and this one right here uh, for the door. And we will be going ahead and needing to grab ourselves a loom as we are be going ahead and making a couple banner designs for the sides of the aircraft. So uh, with that all complete, uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the materials we'll need and we'll go ahead and start work on the banners here for the side detailing. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making our banners here. Now for our banners to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go need three black banners and six gray dye. For our first banner, we're going to go into our loom. We're going to place down a black banner in our loom and then we're going to place down our gray dye. Now for this first banner, we're going to be going ahead and doing a line of gray dye on the left side like so of the banner. We're going to then grab the banner and then we're going to do a line of gray dye across the top so you get a banner that looks like this. That's going to be our first banner right there and we're going to then make our second one. Second banner is going to be just like this one but the opposite so it's going to be flipped. We're going to do the line over here on the right side and then the line across the top and that's going to create our second banner there and then our third and final banner we're just going to go ahead and place down a line of gray dye going down the center here and then the line of gray dye across the top and we have our three banners. Our first banner here with the two black lines is going to be going ahead and going to this slab right here on the door and it's going to be going in this location right here. So same thing over here on this side just like that to both sides there and that will pretty much make uh, that little window design there. After we have that all done, we're going to then go to this this uh, black concrete block. We're going to place down this banner here with the uh, gray facing forward. And the same thing is going to be done over here. We're going to be using the other banner and it's going to be the line facing forward like so. And that's really all you need to do there for the banners. One thing I want to cover also is we are going to be having a tripwire hook that comes off of this gray concrete block. And that should be on both sides there of the front of the aircraft that I did forget to add. Uh, but other than that, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer number four for the build. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number five. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer here, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and begin with, we're going to place down a stone button here on top of this black stained glass block here in the center. We're going to then place down a polished black stone slab back from the button and then a polished black stone stair. From that stair, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of gray concrete that's going to be going back in a row of 13. So from that back of that stair back, 13 gray concrete blocks. A polished blackstone stair, two polished blackstone slabs, a polished blackstone button here on top of the smooth quartz block, and that right there is going to complete the center line there of the aircraft. Going to the sides, we're going to place down a daylight detector to the side of this polished blackstone slab, and we're going to go ahead and turn this into the night mode like so. We're going to go and then place down a narrow brick slab back from that, followed by a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 gray concrete blocks back. One, two, and three polished blackstone uh, slabs back, and then a gray car or gray carpet there on the end. After that, going ahead and going back up to the front, we're going to place down a stone button on top of this black stained glass block, and then a daylight detector back from that stone button, turn to the night mode like so. We then want to place down a narrow polished blackstone wall here, then one, two, and three direct walls, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished blackstone walls back like that. We then want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull and then one at a slight angle like so. After that's all done, we want to go ahead and then go to the side here and place down a dark oak trap door coming off the side of this wall here, followed by one and two polished blackstone top slabs and then a dark oak wood trap door like that on the end there. We then want to go ahead and build out to the side here a long row of dark oak wood trap doors, which will be a row of 12. So going off this polished blackstone slab here, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Same thing right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. After that's all done there, we have our road designed and we're going to basically continue 
uh, working our way out to the side here. Now we are going to go ahead and do a little bit of the engine as some of the engine does not uh, move. Um, and we'll be using that kind of a basis to build our two different engines off of. So uh, to go ahead and kind of cover the first part here uh, of the engine building, we're going to go ahead and place down two dark oak trapdoors here. Or we have those two dark oak trapdoors. We're going to place down two upside down polished black stone stairs come off those trapdoors like so. We then want to go back from the stairs with one and two stairs like so. Behind those stairs, we're going to place down a row of four of gray concrete. So one, two, three, four. And we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, wither skeleton skull here on this uh, gray concrete block on the rear there. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of four of upside down polished blackstone stairs along those gray concrete blocks and another wither skeleton skull like so. We then want to take our polished blackstone top slabs. We're going to place down a row of four coming off these stairs like so of top slabs, one that sticks out toward the back, and then we want to place down two that sticks out toward the front there like that. And that right there is going to do it there for the engines uh, for this part of the tutorial so far. Also on the back here for our vertical stabilizers, we're going to go to these four polished blackstone stairs. We're going to go up and out to the side here with a row of four of polished blackstone upside down stairs like that for the vertical stabilizers. And once we have that all complete, that right there is going to wrap up what we have for layer number five. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number six. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go ahead and go to our second gray concrete block. We're going to place down a polished blackstone wall on top of it, two blocks, polished blackstone slabs back, and then one, two, three, and four gray concrete blocks. Uh, back, a polished blackstone stair, a slab coming off the stair. We're going to go ahead and skip a space, place down there, polished blackstone upside down stair with a wither skeleton skull coming off the back of the stair like so. And that right there is going to be our center line. Moving to the sides here, we're going to place down two polished blackstone slabs coming off those two right there, followed by a row of one, two, three, four gray concrete blocks back, and then two polished blackstone slabs after that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull here to the side on top of that antisite wall, or actually, sorry, the direct wall, and then a second uh, wither skeleton skull back from that. We're going to then take our gray concrete, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three gray concrete blocks back, followed by a polished blackstone stair a wither skeleton skull and then a wither skeleton skull here at a slight angle like so after we have that all done go ahead and come off this first slab here we want to go and do a row of slabs that's going to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and thirteen out to the side here we're going to take our gray concrete do another row of thirteen uh but this time with gray concrete so all the way across we're going to go then take our stairs here and we're going to go ahead and, or actually sorry, our gray concrete to begin with. And we're going to place on a gray concrete block here. And then a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 uh, polished blackstone stairs. And we want to go and then place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 uh, polished blackstone slabs coming off the stair like that. Once we have that all done, we want to go and then place down a gray concrete block coming off this one here. And then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three uh, gray concrete blocks back just like that. Uh, after that's done, we're going to then place down a row of two of gray concrete. So one, two in that location there. We then want to go ahead and place down a black concrete block like that. And then an iron bar. We're going to go and then place down a row of or sorry, another iron bar to the side here, a black concrete block, and then we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four uh, gray concrete blocks going forward. We then want to go ahead and grab a polished black stone wall, and we're going to place down a polished black stone wall coming off this gray concrete block. On the back here, we're going to place down another iron bar coming off this one here to the side, a black concrete block right there. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two gray concrete, black concrete block, and a narrow iron bar like that there toward the front. Then on the very side here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished black stone walls. Uh, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six here all on the side. And we then want to go ahead and place down one more that goes off the back there like so. And also one more that goes off of it toward the front. So we're actually going to make one quick change here. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and scoot this black concrete block and iron bar back one. So we're just going to have basically this iron bar black concrete block one gray concrete block a black concrete and then iron bar like that so it should look like this here on the side 
And once you have that done, you're going to take that same design and flip it over to the other side. And you'll basically have uh, both engines here pretty much complete here for this uh, layer, or basically the basic starting. Uh, we then want to go ahead and also go to the back here and for our vertical stabilizers, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 polished black stone stairs along the side there. And anyway, that right there is going to complete layer 5 uh, altogether. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number 6. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number 6. For layer 6 to go ahead and get started with here, we want to go and go to this uh, gray concrete block here. We're going to place down a wither skeleton skull and then coming off both sides of the skull, we're going to place down an end rod going forward and backwards like that um, for that. We then want to take our stone buttons and we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, 3 stone buttons on these uh, three gray concrete blocks there. After that's done, we then want to go ahead and go out to our sides here to our engines and to go ahead and build these up we want to go ahead and start off by taking polished blackstone slabs and we're going to place down a slab that's going to go over the space like so and we want to go ahead and go back from it one two three four five and six so in total you have a row of seven there of those uh polished blackstone slabs after we have that done we want to go ahead and then place down two polished blackstone stairs here two gray concrete blocks behind those stairs and then there are two polished black stone stairs on this side here. We're going to go ahead and then grab our wither skeleton skulls and we want to go ahead and place down a wither skeleton skull coming off the side of this gray concrete block and the side of this polished black stone stair. With that all complete, go ahead and go in back here to the rear. We're going to go ahead and uh, go from this polished black stone stair. We're going to go ahead and go up and out to the side here uh, with a upside down stair followed by one two and three stairs going forward like that and after that's all done that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer number six for the build and uh with that we'll probably move into our final layers here which will include layers uh seven eight and nine basically putting the vertical stabilizers on and from there we'll be moving on to uh basically doing the two different uh formats of the engines and then the landing gear so with that let's go ahead and move into uh our last final layers for the fuselage all right guys so moving into our final layers here we'll be moving into layers eight through ten for these layers here, we're just going to be going ahead and focus our attention here to the vertical stabilizers. Now for these, we're going to be going ahead and going to these four upside down stairs. We're going to place down four stairs on top of them, like that. We then want to go ahead and go up from the second stair. So this stair here, uh, we're going to go up, out to the side here with an upside down stair, and we're going to go and place down three back. And over here, we're going to go and do the same thing. So up, out to the side here, and three back. And we then want to go ahead and just take our polished blackstone top side and place down a row of four across the tops there of those uh across the bottoms i should say of those stairs like that across the top there and with that all complete there that is going to wrap up basically we have the basic design here uh for the fuselage of the aircraft and basically from this point here we're going to be going ahead and moving into uh doing the rotor configurations and the landing gear so to begin with we're going to go ahead and start off with the rotors for the um uh basically facing upwards or i should say yeah upwards i guess um so this design right here and uh yeah so with that let's go ahead and move into doing the upwards facing rotors all right guys so going ahead and moving into building the rotors in the vertical uh, setup so for this to go ahead and get started with here we want to go ahead and go to this section we're going to place down a polished black stone stair here and a gray concrete block right next to it we then want to go ahead and go below this we're going to place down a dark oak fence here on the bottom of the stair and then a lever here to both sides of these blocks and have these flicked in connecting up to those polished black stone stairs like that after that's done, we then want to go ahead and go to the top of the stair. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate, open it up toward the back there. We're going to then place down a row of one and two gray concrete blocks. After we have that all finished there, we want to go ahead and then go to the sides here. We're going to place down a gray concrete block in this location here. And also a gray concrete block over here. Now once we have that done, uh, this right here, this gray concrete block, is actually going to be an anvil. And to both sides of that anvil, we're going to, go and grab ourselves a iron bar. And we want to go ahead and place down a iron bar on both sides like this, and a dark oak wood sign over here on the side of this iron bar like that. After we have that all done there, we want to go and then place down a gray concrete block on top of this, or sorry, on top of the anvil. And we're going to go place down a polished black stone upside down stair coming off of it. Both sides of this gray concrete block, we're going to place down more block to the sides here, followed by a lever coming off those blocks, facing upwards like so. In the back corner here, we're going to place down a polished black stone wall, gray concrete block, and a polished black stone wall. We then want to place down a 
polished blackstone stair here, gray concrete block, polished blackstone stairs around the rest of the, this gray concrete block. We then want to place down a uh, wither skeleton skull on both sides of this stair, just like that. And once we have that complete, we're going to then grab ourselves a black concrete block. We want to go ahead and start off by placing down one, two, and three black concrete blocks up the center here. A wither skeleton skull on the top, and we then want to go ahead and wrap wither skeleton skulls around the uh, top black concrete block. And then we're just going to go ahead and place down two polished blackstone walls to go down from those wither skeleton skulls like so. Now, once we get to this point, it's uh, going to be basically building the rotors. So, at this point here, you can build the same thing over on the other side, and uh, you'll have your engines pretty much ready to go for the rotors. So, we're going to transfer this over to the other side, and then we'll start on the rotors. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into doing our rotors. So, for our rotors here, we're only going to do one of the blades as it makes the most sense, really, because it's the same blade that's going to be applied to both sides. For our first one, though, to begin with, we'll be going ahead and going to this section here, we're going to delete this polished blackstone wall in its place. We're going to place down a black, uh, sorry, black polished blackstone top slab. We're going to then place down an additional one, two, and three top slabs to the side here. We're going to drop down from these three and place down a row three of slabs like this going across. We then want to place down a row two of top slabs here, followed by a second row of two, and then a third row. After that third row there. We want to go ahead and place down an additional one and two all on the side here, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a brick top slab on the very end. So just like this. We then want to go ahead and take our dark oak trap doors. We're going to place down one, two here, and then a acacia wood trap door. We can then go ahead and grab our red carpet and our black carpet. We're going to place down two red carpets here on top of the acacia wood trap door and the brick slab. We're going to go then place down two black carpets, an air two, and then one right here. And that's going to be it for our first blade. Our second blade, we're going to go, ahead and go to this section here. We're going to go and delete this wall. We're going to place down a polished blackstone top slab in its place, followed by one more that comes off of it, and then a slab that comes off that top slab. We're going to place down our top slab like this forward, slab down, then the same thing again, top slab, slab. We then want to place down a top slab right here, followed by a second top slab, one and two top slabs, then again to the side here, top slab, one to the side. And then a top slab right here, and then we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door in this spot. Followed by a polished blackstone top slab, a dark oak wood trap door. And we then want to go ahead and place down a brick top slab, which is going to be coming off of this top slab, like so. And then a acacia wood top slab coming off that. We're going to place down two red carpets on these two blocks here. Followed by two black carpets here, and then one black carpet on top of that trap door just like that there for this blade. Our next blade is going to be going this direction here. We're going to go ahead and place down a top slab coming off this wall right here, or basically between those two walls. We're going to go ahead and go diagonal from it with an air top slab. We're going to go ahead and place down a half slab in its spot right here. And we're going to place down an air half slab here that goes up into a top slab. From this top slab, we're going to place down one over, one back, one over, one back. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak trap door a top slab, a trap door, and then a top slab, and then a acacia wood trap door. Place down a red carpet here, and we're going to then place down black carpet on top of these first two rows here, like that. And once we have that done, that's going to pretty much do it for your blades here. You're going to go ahead and basically take the same design, copy it over to the other side, and you'll have basically your upward or a vertical kind of takeoff uh, configuration done for your uh, propellers. Uh, so you go ahead and do the same thing on both sides, and that's pretty much uh, all you need for that version there. And uh, with that, uh, let's go ahead and move into the uh, forward-facing engines. All right, guys, and moving into the forward-facing uh, engines to basically go ahead and get started with here. Now, what we need to do to begin with here is we're going to be going ahead and going to these stairs, and we want to go ahead and expand this row of stairs two more blocks forward. So we're going to place down a gray concrete block here, one right here, and then one, two, and one, two, polished blackstone stairs like that. So it's going to bring you to this point right here. Now, once we get to this point, uh, we're going to go then take our gray concrete, and we're going to go and place down a row of one, two blocks right here, and we want to go and then place down 
another row of two blocks like that. On top here, we're going to place down a gray concrete block here. And then a polished blackstone slab to both sides. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom here. Gray concrete block, polished blackstone slab to both sides. We're going to place down another gray concrete block here in the center. On um, both the top and bottom. And we want to go and then grab ourselves some wither skeleton skulls. And we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on the sides of these gray concrete blocks like that. After that's all done, we want to go and then take our black concrete. And we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three black and four black concrete blocks going forward, excuse me. And then on the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, and three. Polished black stone walls, one, two, and three. And then on top here, one, two, three polished black stone half slabs. And on the bottom, one, two, and three polished black stone top slabs. We're going to go and then place down a wither skeleton skull here on the tip. And we can go ahead and then grab ourselves some dark oak wood trap doors. And we're going to go and basically just place down a dark oak wood trap door around the sides here of this with their skeleton skull, or on the sides of this black concrete block, like that to make your engine here. You're going to take the same design and copy it over to the air side, and once you do, you'll have your uh, two engines uh, complete there for the aircraft. And now that we have the engines done and transferred over to both sides, it's time to go ahead and do the actual rotors themselves. So, or propellers, I should say. So for the propellers here, we're we'll going to be going ahead and going to this polished black stone wall here. We're going to place down one, two, three four, five, six, seven, and eight blocks to the side. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, eight. And then we're gonna place down a brick wall. On top of this brick wall, we're gonna place down a brick slab. And then over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven polished black stone slabs, just like that. After we have that all complete there, we wanna go and then go over to the opposite side. So this wall here, we're gonna go up an angle, place down a polished black stone wall, like so. And we're going to go ahead and place down a polished black stone wall right behind that stair. On top of the stair, we're going to place down a wall like this, followed by a second wall coming off of it. And we're going to go and do this same thing a total of one, two, three, four more times. So, a uh, wall up to the side, that's one, then two, then three, then four. And on the very top here, we're just going to place down two brick walls using the same technique. So, it should look like that there for that blade. Next blade here, going downwards, we're going to go, and go down from uh, we're going to actually go to this slab here. We're going to go and replace this with a upside down stair facing forward like so. We're going to drop down from the stair with a polished black stone wall, then one over from it. We then want to go ahead and place down a wall that comes down like this, one over, and then two on the bottom of those walls. We're do the same thing again, so just like this. And we're going to go and do the same thing one more time, so just like that going down. We then want to place down two. Uh, polished black stone walls that go down like that so using the same technique and then just slam two brick walls there on the bottom and that's right there what your uh, bottom blade will look like except it's supposed to face the opposite direction so we'll go ahead and fix that real quick but you want to go in out the direction that this blade is like that obviously you can see my mess up there threw off the entire blade or in terms of looks so just go ahead and do that and make sure it's going to the other side than what I did, so toward the outside of the aircraft. And that right there will do it for that blade. And you're just going to go and take the same thing, flip it over to the other side, and you have both your uh, engines done there for the in-flight version uh, of the aircraft with the forward-facing um, engines. And with that, that's going to basically complete the two uh, positions for the uh, aircraft's uh, rotors. And with that, let's go ahead and move into the landing gear. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our landing gear. To go ahead and add our landing gear on, we're we'll going to go ahead and go into this gray concrete block here. We're going to place down a stone brick wall that comes down from it. We're going to place down a polished black stone wall that comes off the side of that wall. And we then want to place down a block of coal on the bottom here. We're going to go ahead and place down a lever on the side of the block of coal facing toward the inside here. And then a skeleton skull coming off the side of this wall uh, after deleting this dark oak with trap door. So just like that there for the landing gear. And we also want to go ahead and grab a white banner. We're going to go ahead and do a black outline around the white banner and then a black line for the center. And you're going to basically create this banner here. You're going to put that banner on the side of the block of uh, coal there to go ahead and make the uh, wheels there. You're going to take that same design and copy it to the air side there for the front. And that will conclude the front landing gear. And let's go ahead and move on to the rear. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into uh, the rest of our landing gear, we're going to be going ahead and focusing in on the back here. For the back of the aircraft, we're going to be going ahead and going back here to this section here. Now this section here, we're going to start off by placing on a polished andesite upside down stair, coming off this slab right here. 
We then want to go ahead and go to the bottom of that uh, block or that stair there, and we're going to place down a polished or er, stone brick top slab, a block of coal, two both sides, and then a white banner coming off the sides of the block of coal that we used earlier. So the black border and the line through the center. On the back of this stair, we're going to place down a lever that comes off the stair facing upwards, and then we're going to place down two polished black stone top slabs, one coming off the polished inside stair, and the second one going back from it, like down on both sides there for the doors for the landing gear. And once you have that done, that will complete the landing gear for the aircraft, and with that, that will complete both my versions, um, the landed and in-flight versions for the um, V280 Fowler. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be anything from a link to the build or uh, just a sign on the build. Uh, basically depending on, you know, if you put it on social media or if it's just on your world. Uh, just as long as you guys give me credit for your freeze for a project you guys are working on. Um, it do ask for credit as it does uh, help promote my channel and my name and uh, helps get more subs and more views and keeps me inspired to keep on posting the type of content I do. So I definitely ask that you guys do give me credit for the build if you do use it. Um, again, a big sure thanks to Patreon support Derek Frost Westbrook for making this tutorial possible. And as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. Other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 24 and I'll see you guys next time.